What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here in my hometown of Cleveland, Tennessee. And yes, yes, the, the sun is in my eyes. It's not that great, but at least I can still see you guys and I know through the ether that is the internet, y'all can see me. Well today, you guys, I have something very special for y'all. Something that I don't think you would expect to be in a small town in Tennessee. And that is an abandoned mini golf course. Yes, this mini golf course was active from 2005 until about 2012 or 2013, I believe it was. And I have a lot of fond memories of this golf course. I remember when it first opened. I was about 11 years old. I was with my friend Cameron Harden and we were having a sleepover. We had we ate at CC's. We came up here and that is when my childhood friend hit me in the head with a golf ball. Cameron, if you're watching this, yes, I still remember that, sir. But anyway, you guys, we are going to take a look at what is left of this mini putt-putt course. So let's do it. Anchor down. You know, the cool thing about this building right here is that used to be the building where you would get your putt-putters and you would also get your golf balls. There was also an arcade in there at one time, but now it is just a shed business. Yes, you can buy sheds. But now my friends, my fans, my followers, Let's take a look at the abandoned putt-putt course of Cleveland, Tennessee. Honestly, I am excited because I have not set foot on this putt-putt course since I was probably about 13. So it's been a while. Been a long, long time, yes. It all begins with whether we should go to Boulder Falls or the Safari Trail. Let's check out Boulder Falls first. So I guess it all starts with hole number one. Although, I think there is going to be a tree in our way. And that is honestly not too good. There is a slide there, however. If I'm not mistaken, you guys, beneath this kudzu, this is Boulder Falls. It says, do not climb on waterfall, lean or sit, post, play in ponds, or play on rocks. You know, 11-year-old me used to get mad at this. But honestly, I could see why, because they, they wouldn't want to get their stuff damaged. Although it's, it's kind of abandoned now. So I guess I could do it today. That leads us to hole number two. More kudzu on the floor, followed by a big giant rock. Again, I don't think this hole is going to be played. And if I'm not mistaken, there in the underbrush, this is Boulder Falls. No water, just rock. Now back when this, uh, this mini putt-putt course was open, it used to fill into this little basin right here. And it used to create a waterfall that would run down here. As y'all can tell, it's really, really just, uh, just dry. A lot of kudzu, a lot of rock. Don't really know what kind of leaves those are. But as you all can tell, a lot of the underbrush and the growth has really, really stripped it of its beauty. I probably say though this course this hole still looks playable I'm not gonna try it though and I remember as a kid back when all this was clean this was one of the pools that I wanted to get into but well looks like even 13 years later I guess that, that that's still not going to happen and here we go on to what was hole number four. It's the one that was right next to the highway. The beacon for people to say, hey, 
I wonder what this golf course is like. Now it's honestly just kind of an eyesore if you ask me. I'm not really sure what will come of it. I'm not sure if this uh, shed business will tear it down or if they'll try to repurpose it. But in a way, I kind of hope that maybe somewhere down the line they would kind of repurpose it, rework on it. Because I think it has potential. It's just that, well, the times, the people, it wasn't really getting enough business. That's a big rock. I remember, I think it was at this hole that my friend Cameron and I got into a children's dispute. I don't know what it was about at the time, but gosh, I miss my buddy from elementary school. Had a lot of good moments with that kid. And of course, through all the underbrush and growth, which we cannot cross, there is the bridge. Yeah, honestly, a lot of memories. I'm trying to go honestly by hole by hole, but as you all can tell, I'm not sure if that's really even possible because that would have been hole number five. And let's see what leads us here. Another pull. Again, a lot of dirt, a lot of grime, a lot of whatever type of illegal or not illegal dangerous bacteria. I remember back when you could play golf in this particular course, you would knock the ball into that spot right there and it would fall down and it would run into the hole somewhere around here. But obviously I'm not going to find the hole, which kind of sucks. But I don't know, I almost like the wasteland feel of what once was. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going back there. That's too much. And I'll try to find the hole that my childhood friend and I, well, <laughs> where my childhood friend hit me in the head with a golf ball. Yes, the story behind that is Cameron was like, hey, Chet, he hits the ball and it smacks me in the head. I'm surprised that 11 year old me did not get a concussion. That's probably why I created a YouTube channel. Yes, that's that's how I got crazy and created a YouTube channel. God, that's scary. And I'll be dipped. It's a blue ball. Now that is crazy. Who would have thought that I would have found a ball in an abandoned mini golf course? Okay now, well, what did this used to be? Hole number nine. Hole number nine as we get on the top of the mountain. Again, I do not think that we are going to be able to play in this hole, but I do like the architecture. I think we're kind of coming up. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're coming up to uh, what was the safari area. And there is the back of Boulder Falls. And again, where it hit the ball it'd roll into the water and it would go downstream i wonder how many people actually know about this place i know a lot of like old timers like my generation would probably know about it and a lot of older folks that would take their grandchildren here but i don't i want i actually wonder if like the younger generation knows about it like the 14 year olds the 15 year olds maybe 16. i don't really know I just wonder. I'm starting to think that we are coming up to what was once the safari area. Or if not, probably just the very intricate part of what was there, pardon me, of what once was Boulder Falls. And again, another pool. Yes, childish me wanted to swim in those as a kid, but present day, yeah, I think I've said that too many times in this video so far. But now I think we're kind of getting in the brush hole 15. So yes, we are coming to the end of Boulder Falls. I'm not sure if they tore down. Ooh, look at this. I 
kind of like how this one's set up. This is where you could smack the ball from down there. It'd bring up force and it would come down. And yeah, I'm stuck. <sighs> there we go. Hey, okay. So let us continue with the journey. If I can just get out of these. Ow, ow, ow. Brushes. Yes, I am stuck with one to my back. <sighs> yeah, take that. So let's get back to exploring as I, I hurt on the inside. Well, my pride was more damaged than, oh gosh, I hit another one, but it's okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It just hurt my pride. <sighs> I don't think there's really anything left of Safari Zone. So that's hole 17. So I know we're getting to the end of the entire course of hole 18, I guess. Um, maybe that was hole 18. Maybe. Maybe. I think this may have just been the practice hole. Yeah, this, this was just the practice one. Okay. That brought us back to square one. So, I guess let's really see what's left of Safari Trail. Why did I call it Safari Zone? Maybe I'm just thinking like more of a Pokemon mind. I guess. Over the river and through the woods to more briars we get hit with. Oh yeah. I believe it was this one. This, well, spot, or this, uh, this hole right here where Cameron hit me in the head with a golf ball. Yay. But anyway, yay guys, I do not think there's really a whole lot of safari, of the safari zone area left. I mean, I think it's mostly just, well, just a lot of overgrowth. And I'm really trying not to get stuck with the briars again. And I imagine the safari zone, or the safari trail, was not a whole, a whole lot. I think it was only like maybe, maybe like four or five holes. I know there wasn't that many on this one, if my memory serves me correct. Huh. Rock. More dirt. More pain, more suffering. I do this because I love you guys. Here's hole number four. And I think this one was really just a kitty trail. Nothing too, too special about it. But I could be wrong. It just kind of winds back and forth. And yes, it's, well, that was supposed to be hole one, but I guess we, we walked around and we did it all wrong. So yes, I guess this is all that really is to the safari trail. So you guys, this is gonna be my vlog for the day. I had to check this place out. I pass it all the time and I wanted to relive a few childhood memories. So you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot, it goes to show that y'all care means that y'all want to see more on my channel. Love you all very much. Vlog over.